Good morning. Once again, I'm waiting for the birds to pray, uh, but today it's a lot uh, like, yeah, hard to photograph because it's so dark. It's already dark, like winter time dark. Uh, we are uh, in December now, and especially when there are so heavy overcast that's, that it is now, it's really, really hard. So, yeah. I'm a little bit uh, curious how this day is going to turn out, but hopefully it's going to be good. I have done something different today. I found a, like a, I don't know what it calls in English, but it is it's like a little stump with a little moss on, and I place that so I get a little bit different. Uh, hopefully the bird uh, will land on that, and I can get some different kind of pictures. So yeah. Let's hope that there will be some action today and uh, I will talk to you a little bit later when or if the action happens. First Kawasaki is here. It's landing on that little stump that I put out. This is a really weird looking Kawasaki. It looks like the beak is, has grown much more longer than normal. So it's almost looks like a type of snail kite this is weird okay I will try to take some pictures just need to take it slow really slow Kasak are, are so aware I think I had it here two minutes or something, but something in the forest is was yelling and it was constantly looking up so I guess it's that buzzard that is like trying to chase away every other bird that comes in this area. But I got some shots though, so I'm happy with that and uh, this might be all that I got today, but that's the way it goes. I just need to wait again. I've been waiting for two, three hours for that gossip to appear for just a couple of minutes. And I might, 
I might wait for a, another hour or two before maybe another bird turns up. while I was waiting for the bird to come or not to come I thought I would explain a little bit about how, why I always choose to uh, photograph from a, a low angle because I use that uh, technique a lot I really like the shooting from a low angle it's not the best way or most comfortable way to shoot uh, birds or wildlife it's actually a little bit hard for the back and the neck uh, but the result I got out of it I think is really really nice I really like that and that is because of several types of um, uh, pros that I, I like about that one thing is that you separate <clears throat> the background even more when you are like uh, lower your lens as low as you can you only thing you see in the background is further away instead of for example if you're shooting uh, and at the field like I'm doing now if I had been like a meter uh, or uh, one and a half meter uh, above the, the ground the background would be the grass just behind it and that would not be too far if I lower my lens to the ground as low as possible the background would be the forest further back and that is uh, gonna be more blurry uh, and more out of focus and therefore the subject is popping more out other thing is that you can use also uh, the grass hair for example though in the foreground and that creates like a um, framing for the bird uh, so I really really like I know that uh, not all like that, that type of picture with that blurry foreground uh, but that's okay um, for me I, I really like that it creates more intimacy with the bird and I also think that is uh, a little bit more artistic uh, and you can like really really play with colors and third and last thing that I really like about the low angle is you get to have like an eye level at the bird or animal and that creates so much more intimacy when you are getting low and getting eye level and that is not uh, for just to, to photograph birds or animals it actually is the same with for those of you who are doing portraits of of um, people it's always nice to get at the same level as the subject and uh, even a little bit a little bit lower and that creates so so much more intimacy that if the bird or the subject would be uh, shooting or you are shooting the subject from the above and that uh, doesn't create that same intimacy so <clears throat> those three things is the main reason why I choose a low angle even from a high like this for the birds of prey but also shooting uh, waterfowls shorebirds yeah whatever if you go in to shoot with like shorebirds and waterfowls being low also creates uh, lesser of you sticking up in the air and scaring off the bird so yeah that's the fourth thing that is really good with the low angle the tip is get down low if you uh, have the possibility to do that and yeah shoot from a low angle it creates so much more uh, popping images yeah now I've been here for five five six hours now I just have one bird 
And now I'm starting to lose a little bit of patience and I also think about just packing my bag and go home because soon I'm going to work. But uh, yeah, been good to be out though. Even though I haven't heard too much of the bastard or hawks and I only seen one bird. It's always nice to be out and just enjoy the peacefulness. This is it for me and I want to thank you for watching. So if you are new here as well, I hope you consider subscribing and uh, hit that bell button and you get notification every time I upload a new video. So until next time, I will see you. Bye.